Okay, this video is for those who purchased my project at the Wood Whisperers Guild, the Fremont Chester Drawers. In that video, I go over making all the templates. Everything you need is in the videos at the Wood Whisperers Guild. If you want to bypass making the templates yourself, I'm making them available from my website, CNC uh, versions. There are some differences, uh, minor differences in the video and the ones that I'm making. So let me go over them. I'll go over each template and uh, explain it. This is the drawer front right below the cloud with the drawer rail. It's much the same as I do in the videos. Same with this. With this. this is the upper drawer. There's a right and a left. Uh, in this case, it's CNC made, so they're very accurate. You can just flip it end for end, and you've got right, or you've got left drawer front. This is for the end panel, the upper cloud lift rail, much the same as in the videos. This is the template for the back panel, lower rail, cloud lifted rail, and there's a another rail in the front of the case that's exactly the same, only narrower. In the videos, I have a line drawn across here, and for that front narrower lower rail, we shove it up to that line and register it against the line. Here, we have these dowels to run it up against. So, this template, the full width, is for that cloud lifted rail at the bottom of the back panel, and for the front of the case at that bottom rail, it goes, it registers up against those dowels. Okay, in the video, we cut out the cloud lifted drawer rail. It's that piece that looks like this, directly on the stock. We lay a PDF pattern down and we do all the work right on there. I've made some, P, uh, some CNC patterns for that uh, and they work this way. You see these little lines right here? That's a half inch run out for the bearing on the router when you flush trim. And in this case, the stock registers against the back side. It's flush. on the back and a half inch in. I like to use an adjustable square to kind of check both sides to make sure that I'm exactly there. And that puts it right down at our critical point right here. So this stock is exactly the length, comes right out to that point. And that's our reference. Uh, so from here, what you do is you pencil mark this whole thing like that, bandsaw and route. You can, if you're attaching um, to the back side of this piece, you can run screws if you want when you're routing. Um, it gives you a little more stability, but you, there's other ways to attach too with you know the double back tape or the CA glue, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy out, and then I'll show you how we line up the next one.
So we've just cut this part right here, this bottom edge, with this one here. Now, this is the actual shape of the cloud lifted drawer rail, and we've already cut this bottom edge. So we need to line him up in pencil mark to cut out and relieve some material for that second cut on, on this side. When it's lined up flush right here with both these cloud lifts on other end, either end, you should be that same distance in as you were on the other jig. And then you can pencil mark. And we're going to go over to the bandsaw and relieve, oops, this material somewhere here. Okay, now it's time to attach the template back on here for a rowdy. And I'm going to, again, I'm flushing it up to this edge down here and double checking here. Do the same over here. And we are good. We are good. We can run some screws. this cut in the center there. In order to do that, you want to pivot off something solid. So I'm pushing this up to there and pivoting off the fence here and then starting my cut. If I had to just start like this, it might tend to grab and move it around a little bit, a little unsafe. So let's go ahead and route. Keep in mind that um, I'm only doing a video here on using the templates. I'm not following the steps given in the project video over at the Wood Whisperers Guild. If you were following those, when this was in the blank stage like this, you would have put a domino or a mortise right there. Um, at this point, if you waited to do it after routing, it becomes a lot more difficult to do that. So follow the instructions uh, at the guild. So this last template I need to cover is for the leg. As you can see, I've cut it down into two pieces. That's to uh, uh, facilitate chipping. Uh, the way you bring it back together is line it up, and I've got what I call a bridge. Place it over the top, line up the holes, and we're going to pound in a series of half inch dowels. It should come out very flush here. Um, in the kit that I send out, you'll get a uh, blank dowel. You'll have to just cut them down to sizes to fit and, and then do that. 